Hello, welcome to day 198 in my rebellious reality. I titled this Life Design as Desired. So something interesting that happened yesterday is that I've been designing Brian's website, which is now up and running, brianshouseofspices.com. We can only ship in the state of New York right now. Uh, which will eventually change, but this special seasoning will change your life. Only way to eat chicken, Um, and his breading is, his crispy breading, K for Katrina, by the way, is um, phenomenal. So check out his website, brianshouseofspices.com. I designed it, and um, I was having an issue uh, setting up the shipping for it because he's got these two different products. They're both different sizes, different weights. We have different boxes. And so I had to call Wix, which is his website provider, the platform provider. And um, I had to ask a representative for, you know, help with the situation. So I don't know if this is like with every company, but a lot of times that I've had to call for technical issues lately, whether it be um, Verizon or AT&T or Wix, whatever, it's like these people, there's so many different things that can go amiss that they don't you know, they can't really help me. They have to like put me on hold and go ask somebody else and then put me on hold again after they clarify and go ask somebody else and come back. So that's what this guy Isaac was doing who helped me. Super duper nice guy. And I used to get so impatient with these kinds of conversations. And I was really sitting in reflection actively while I was on the phone with this guy Isaac and on hold. Like, like, observing how differently I was handling the situation and how um, chill I was, how untriggered I was. I don't know what it was about. I would just get so fucking triggered in conversations where I would be expressing what I needed and I couldn't get the answer right away. So anyway, I I find it was really interesting. So it was almost like I was like watching myself handle this. But at one point, you know, he had put me on hold and come back a couple times. And um, I had expressed to him that I have these two different size boxes. um, And I need to be able in order for me to get the, the calculated shipping rates accurately. I needed to be able to almost assign products to these different um, box dimensions in order for the shipping price to calculate correctly. And I was doing my best to explain all this, you know, and then he found this one. He's like, well, if you do it this way, you can do it. But the way that you're trying to do it, it just doesn't have that option. And I just so nonchalantly said to him, well, I can't, you know, I, it was something along the lines of, well, I need to be able to set the shipping up this way. And I said, there's gotta be, he was almost telling me like, there's just no way to do it. Like you can do it this way, but you can't do it the way that you need it done. And I'm thinking my, and I'm just, I just said to him, I was like, well, um, I said, I've dealt with other platforms. I said, I've dealt with Shopify. They have apps that will allow me to, to do things different ways than like the actual platform has it set up. And I was like, at the end of the day, your company exists to help me design the website that I desire. And there has to be a way. And I wasn't rude about it at all. I just like, it wasn't, it was just so like matter of fact, like, there has to be a way, you know, don't tell, like, don't tell me there isn't a way there has to be one. Let's find it. This, the only reason your company exists is to help me do this. Right. So I got off the phone and I'm just like really sitting with like this whole conversation and like how I 
felt myself handle this conversation. And then I was like, holy fuck, this is an acronym for life or a metaphor for life. Like, I feel like, and I heard this, this uh, term yesterday, toxic overculture. This world we live, we were raised in a toxic overculture. Hells to the yes, we were. So I feel like all of us raised in this toxic overculture. Hello to whoever just joined me. All of us raised in this toxic overculture have basically been told so many times that we can't get whatever we want, like exactly what we want. Like, well, I want to do this. No, you have to do it this way or, or it can't be done or whatever. And maybe a long time ago when we were younger, we would question, well, why can't I have it that way? And then we would get shut down. And soon enough, we got beaten out of us, the questions, right? And we just started to accept the fact that we couldn't have what we wanted or have things the way we wanted. But guess what? I am convinced that that is all fucking malarkey. I am convinced that this life actually exists just like Wix exists to help me create the website that I desire. This life exists so that we can create the life that we desire. And I think that's fucking amazing. My only problem is that I can't figure out exactly what kind of life I want to create. Um, And other people might have that problem too. But this is my message for today. And uh, yeah, see how it feels. See how it feels to listen to me say that. And uh, if that's the case, if I'm correct, and this life exists so that we can create the one that we desire, I encourage you or invite you to begin thinking about the kind of life that you desire. What would that look like? Because we can't manifest something. We can't attract something necessarily. Well, we can. We can attract things that we don't know about. But like, if we want to pull something in, we can also pull something in that we literally desire. But we can't do that if we don't know what it is, you know? So I'll see you tomorrow. Have a good day.